welcome back to the library chess youtube channel in today's class we'll be learning how to make this beautiful shoulder that bust hair blouse it has like an illusion at the midpoint here and it also has a flare at the that area it's really beautiful and very very simple to make if this is what you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you welcome back to the library chess youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make it showed that that illusion blouse okay so this is going to be having a twist because we are going to be having like a peplum like a cape inside our shoulder that remember the last illusion i made it was a kind of illusion that was all over the up up to the shoulder area that was why i advised that we should use a peplum that but in this case the illusion is just going to be at the center front it's going to look like an half shoulder type of illusion so that is why i can get away with this shoulder that and inside this shoulder that seam i'll be inserting like a cape to it so it's very simple just make sure that you pay attention to it and i'm sure you are going to get it so i already have a tutorial on how to draft a shoulder that on the channel already if you don't know how to do this you can check that out so now quickly i'm going to be drafting my illusion the type of illusion that i'll be using this time around like i said is just going to be around here at the center front area so the first thing i'm going to note is how low i want my neckline to be so for me i want it to be around maybe eight inches or nine inches low okay now let me say i'm using eight inches so i have eight inches on this line here so here you determine how hopeful you want it to be on the chest line remember this is your bust point this is the bust point line okay so this is still a bit high it's not going to be exposing too much so here i'll just be opening it by around one and quarter okay so that's 1.25 inches which is around here then i'll go over to the waistline and then i'll be opening it by just a quarter of an inch which is here then i'll take my curve driller and then connect this to form a curve like this okay so this is the part of my illusion this is the part of my illusion where i'll be inserting my mesh or net or whatever it is that you want to use okay so now the next thing is for me to work on my neckline so the neckline i have here is a three inches natural neckline so i'll be adding one inch to it that'll make it four inches here and then after that i'm just going to take my curve driller to have to connect it like a slight curve from here to where my illusion mesh starts okay so you can actually have any neckline of your choice but this is what i want to work with and now i'm through with my drafting so now i can easily cut this out i also have a tutorial on how you can draft the back panel of your shoulder that's bust here so you can check that out also so now my illusion stops here as you can see so i'm going to cut this out and keep it aside for my illusion and then i'm going to cut away this neckline okay so the illusion will just sit around here which is the design i want to go for so i've been having a lot of questions about padding and illusion blouse it's very simple to pad you just need to add your wording or whatever it is that you want to pad with this is a soft regular soft wording for example and then you can just pad it from your under bust area remember this is the under bust area for the center front this is the center front i normally do a full padding but for the side front here you can just use your marker to measure like four inches from your center front here that is after you have closed all these dots okay and then you connect it like this four or five inches depending on how big the person's bust you connect it to your under bust like that and then you connect it again to your hand hole just to have something like this so you can actually use a tracing wheel to trace this out on your on your on your pattern so that you will see how you how you cut it it's very simple to pad but if you don't know how to do this this is a tracing wheel so if you don't know how to do this 
you can let me know in the comments so that I will have a proper tutorial on it but I don't want this video to be too lengthy so I'm just going to focus on what we are doing today okay but it's simple okay so I'm just going to close this as like we normally do now and then I'm going to be transferring all this and then cut it on my fabric okay so these are the pattern pieces we have this is the side front this is the center front and this is the illusion which i'll be cutting with a net okay so i've cut this on my fabric now this is the illusion part that i cut with net and this i cut with my ankara and then the lining and this is the side front okay so for the back panel i just got a normal back panel and I'll not be lining this because this is just a tutorial. I want to line this so that I can show us how we can conceal the illusion neatly and also to conceal the cape that we'll be adding. So now I'll take this to the sewing machine now and then I'm going to be joining the side and the center front together and then I'll bring it back to show us how I'm going to join the illusion. So I've joined the lining together on the sides, but I'll not be joining the main fabric for together yet. Remember I said I want to add a cape, like a peplum, and this is a side that's here. Okay, so I'll not be joining that. So the next thing I'll just do now is to add my illusion to my center front. I'm going to keep the side front aside first. So this is what the um the illusion is looking like now i'm just going to flip it over now sew it to the side front and then on the other side also i'm going to flip it and sew it then we can work on our cape okay so i've sewn it together now you can see i just sewed them on the side and this is what it is looking like i have not turned it with lining yet so now to work on my okay so now i'm going to be measuring what i have on my shoulder that line here and then also on the back panel also remember i said that i have a tutorial now to draft a shoulder that for the back panel also you may want to check that out so for my back panel now i have around 15 and a half inches okay and for the front i have i have around 18 inches so 18 plus 15 and a half that's the 33 and a half inches so if you want to be adding pleats or gathers to it you can just add to the 33 and a half i can round it up to around maybe 38 so the radius of my peplum is going to be 38 inches and the peplum is going to be a 360 full flare peplum so by now i'm sure we know how to draft that Okay, so i folded the fabric into four now for the full peplum and then like i said i'm using 38 inches so 38 inches divided by 6.28 gave me around six inches for my radius so i'm going to be measuring the six inches round and if you look at the thumbnail very well the peplum that we have on the shoulder that area is i think three peplums okay of different length so the radius is going to remain the same which is six inches but they are going to differ in length so you can make them maybe two two inches different three inches or four inches different in length so for the first one i think i'll be going with a length of five inches so to that five inches i can add like three inches to make the next peplum which will give me eight inches and then to the eight inches again i'm going to be adding three inches which will give me 11 inches for the longest peplum so this is the first one now i'm marking the length which is five inches sorry my marker is not so it's not so bright okay but by the time i cut it out we'll understand better so this is the peplum it is five inches long in length you can see from here it is five inches and then the radius here is six inches so now i'll be cutting the other two which is eight inches and 11 inches long then i'll bring it back to show us the next thing i'm going to be doing so i'm going to have to cut the three peplums now the first one is five inches long like i said the second one is around eight inches long okay so it's eight inches and the last one is 11 inches long yours may not be this long and it may be longer than this depending on what you want but just bear in mind that this consumes a lot of fabric i used like 
almost two and a half yard for just this one sleeve so i'll just be sewing this one sleeve in this video and then you're supposed to cut lining for this because it's ankara but i'm to not be cutting lining for my own so to make your peplum more wavy and fluffy you may need to add this crinoline to it okay so just to give it that wavy effect that you want but before we go remember it's a 360 degree peplum so i need to slash open one side of the peplum then after slashing it open if you look at the picture you will notice that the the peplum tapers inwards at the head okay at the head around here Remember, we'll be fixing it to this dart line here. So around this hemline or the dart line, the peplum will not just stand here like this. It's not going to be standing straight like this. So we'll be shaping it in a way that it's just going to be curvy and then pointy at the end. So to do this, I'm just going to put this opened hand together and then I'm going to be shaping it like this from here so that it can rhyme up with this. And then I'm going to shape it so that one end of the peplum will have this kind of short coffee effect okay so this that i've done here i'll be doing it on the other two also so that by the time i sew it on the hemline i can check it you can see the effect this is giving me it's better than it's just standing straight like that so i'll be repeating this for the two also okay so now you can see that i've done this to the three this is the shortest one this is the second one and the third one so now excuse me the next thing you need to do is to add your crinoline but i'll not be adding crinoline to this because like i said it's just a tutorial so i know but i'm sure we know how to do this because i've added crinoline severally on this channel already or i can just add it to the last one so that we'll see what i'm doing so i'm just going to be placing the crinoline line like this because i'm not lining this i'll be sewing it to the right side then i'm going to turn it and then either top stitch on it or use hemming gum to finish it up okay so i've added the crinoline. line you can see i sew it like this and then i'm just going to turn it over now and then you can either use your hemming gum to iron it so that it can press it down or you can top stitch on it but because this is Ankara, it is advisable that you just hard line it to it so that it can be full and it will be really nice. So when you're buying your crinoline, you need to watch out for the, the original one because this one is, is almost like knit. Crinoline is supposed to be strong and hard. So this may not give you what you want. So when you're buying it, you should be careful and watch out for the original one. So I'm just going to top stitch this now. So that we can take the three together and then we can complete our tutorial so i've top stitched it and this is what it's looking like you can also iron it to make it really flat so now the next thing to do is to just bring the peplums together one two and three you can first of all hold them together with a stitch or if you can just sew them together like that you sew them i remember that i added extra so i'll be adding some i'm just going to notch it at the midpoint so that i can know where my shoulder area will be then i'll be pleating the excess but before that we need to join the front and back together remember this is the back panel this is the center back and the side pieces and i later decided to cut lining for them too so that i can neatly finish it so i'm just going to keep the side part away now and then place my center back on my center front like this and then i'm going to sew it on the shoulder so after joining it on the shoulder i can now sew in my flare Okay, so I've joined it together on the shoulder now. Remember, I still have the side panel that I've not joined. So I'm going to be gathering my peplum to this, the three of them. Then I, you can leave like a space. Remember, this is just a half scale body. So you may want to add like a skirt or a peplum to it. You need to leave that allowance before you start placing your peplum on it. So I'm just going to bring my three peplum now. And then I'm going to sew it. 
from center front all the way through the shoulder and then to the back panel okay so the flare have been sewn to one side of the center front and center back now so to close it remember this is the center front you can see so to close it now i'm just going to join the center front and center back of the side also and remember this is the center front for the center back so once i join it i'm just going to use it to close it together remember it's going to be like this let me use the front so that you will see it better remember our front have like an illusion so we just join the center front with the flounce so now we're going to be joining the side front to it also and then i'm going to be flipping it like this and then i will sew on it from here so that my my flare will be in between the center front and center back like this so i'll go and do that now then we can turn with our line okay so this is what it is looking like now i remember i said we are adding this flounce this flare to just one side because it's consuming a lot of fabric and i don't have enough fabric so now to neatly finish it off so that i can conceal the center front here and the center back and the neckline area you just need to sew in your your lining on the shoulder also just like you sew it together on the main fabric so i've turned it to the wrong side now and then i've sewn my lining so now what i want to use the lining to cover is this center front and this illusion part so now remember this is our lining you just need to use it to cover it like this and to successfully do it this is what we want to achieve something this neat so to successfully do this you just need to flip this over now and then you just take your center back together on your lining like this and then we take it to the same machine and sew everything from the front neckline all to the shoulder and then to the back neckline to the center back and then to the M line of the back like that so that we can easily flip it and then turn it neatly so I've gone ahead to turn it with lining now and you can see how neat the center front is looking it's looking really really neat you can see it then I went ahead to sew it together on the side so now because of camera because you mean because this is really multicolor so that the layers will be different from each other i want to be i'm going to be adding trimming at the hem of each of these peplum so that you can see the layer very well so when i get up on the mannequin so that i can see the differences in each of the layers i'll be adding this gold trimming to the hemline of each of the peplum like this so i'll do that then i'll hang it up on the mannequin okay so the trimmings have been added i can see our three layers are now well pronounced and it is really really lovely see what alani did here it just turned it stately for us and you can see this is really beautiful so if you want to add this same effect to the other side you just know you know what to do you just need to sandwich it between this lining and i try to explain how you can add word uh, padding to this because of the illusion normally designs like this you don't want to wear a bra so it's better for you to pad it with a wording or you had your ready-made cup you can see how beautiful and lovely this turned out if this tutorial was helpful kindly let us know in the comment section subscribe to our channel if you haven't and you can see the the crinoline that i added to the first one helped me to make it wavy like this so if you are doing it in your own case you know you have to add crinoline to every part of it so that it can be really coily bouncy and cotton out beautiful like this so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one bye okay so the trimmings have been added i can see our three layers are now well pronounced and it is really really lovely see what alani did here it just turned it stately for us and you can see this is really beautiful so if you want to add this same effect to the other side you just know you know what to do you just need to sandwich it between 
this lining and i try to explain how you can add word uh, padding to this because of the illusion normally designs like this you don't want to wear a bra so it's better for you to pad it with a wording or you had your ready-made cup you can see how beautiful and lovely this turned out if this tutorial was helpful kindly let us know in the comment section subscribe to our channel if you haven't and you can see the the crinoline line that i added to the first one helped me to make it wavy like this so if you are doing it in your own case you know you have to add crinoline to every part of it so that it can be really coily bouncy and cotton out beautiful like this so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one bye